Today I'm going to be taking a quick look at one of the Nomos Club Campus range. Uh, I've reviewed a couple of these watches in the past. Most recently I did the Cream Coral version, which I'll have linked down below. And that will be a little bit more of a fuller review. This one I <laughs> hopefully will be a little bit shorter, a little bit more streamlined. So let's get into it. So taking a quick look at this green Nomos. This is technically called the Electric Green or the Nomos 715. This is the variant with the closed case back. What is nice is we do have 100 meters of water resistance. We don't have a screw down crown, just a push pull. Uh, sapphire crystal on the front and of course this is sporting uh, Nomos's in-house alpha caliber uh, of course through a closed case back as I mentioned but you can opt for a sapphire one for an extra 300 bucks something that I've always been drawn to by the club range is the fact that they do a really nice sizing on them this one is a 36 millimeter it's 46.2 lug to lug only 8.3 millimeters thin uh, and it has an 18 millimeter lug width and I know a lot of people have a gripe with the Nomos lugs how long they are and trust me I do too and that's why it usually one doesn't stay in my collection but it has this kind of flair about it where I love it and hate it at the same time in some situations it really makes the case very defined it's super circular it, it makes the dial almost stand out more and makes the lugs almost an afterthought but at other times you get a lug gap it's a little uh, overpowering on wrist, and even though it's a small watch, it can have a very large stance. But digressing for a second, what I do love is we have this very playful coloring, which we do have a lot with the Nomos Club Campus range. We have this very beautiful, chalky, kind of minty type green. Uh, at certain angles, it becomes darker. At certain angles, it becomes lighter. And we have this beautiful hint of orange, a really bright pop of color. I like that it's monochromatic until you get to that hint of color. And it's not overpowering, it's not crazy, it's just fun. The California style numerals, you know, take it, leave it, it is what it is. I think I would have preferred all Arabics, but I do love the fact that we have a lot of three-dimensionality. The indices are built off of the dial. The fact that they are kind of built up pieces of loom just looks good. It visually pops, and I just appreciate the way it's done. You can see outside in natural light, the color doesn't change that much from when it was inside. Uh, at different angles, it pretty much stays consistently the same color. The hands do pop a little bit more at certain angles, but really that's about it. It's a pretty consistent dial. However, when you move into natural light, it lightens up a little bit. This, when we change it to different angles, it becomes a little darker, it becomes a little shadier. It has a little bit more life in natural light, uh, in direct sunlight rather, and I like that. It does change, but not dramatically, but I do like that subtle change. Zooming in here, and I just love that there's a lot more than meets the eye at first. You have this interesting grained pebbled pattern to the dial, which is just monotone in color. There's no sunray pattern, there's no extra finishing. It just is this very subtle textured thing, and I like that. You have this little uh, contrasting, but still within the same color tone family, outlining to the loom, this almost kind of aqua color. There'd be you no know, brighter white of the loom a tiny other shade of green for the uh, 60 minute counter there and kind of every other five minute mark, but just white for everything else, white text, white numerals, white seconds track. So you have these tiny little playful bits of color, but what I love about this specific Nomos in comparison to a lot of the other uh, Nomos Club campuses is that they went with color tones that are all within the same family. They didn't do an orange dial with blue outlines and stuff like that. They kept it all in the green family. And I think it feels very cohesive because of that. I think overall the finishing for the price is great. There really aren't many QC issues. The amount of depth you get in the dial from the sunken sub-seconds, the fuzziness of that second's hand, the uh, three-dimensionality of the loom. There really is, I think, just a lot to love here. And I think Domos did a great job at creating a bunch of interest in a pretty thin watch and depth where you wouldn't have expected to see it. With the cases of Nomos, you're not getting anything crazy special. It is all high polished. It's nothing crazy, but it is extremely thin. It wears well. It feels premium. Uh, the dial feels very close to the top of the watch. It doesn't feel very inset into the watch because there isn't really that much depth to the watch to begin with. Uh, and that is just a unique experience you don't get with everything. And I do like it here. On the wrist, you can see, again, those long lugs just kind of give it a bigger stance than you would expect. These are the same size. They're both 36 millimeters, but one, in my opinion, seems to wear a lot better than the other, and that's just because you have a little bit more of a compact styling, and to me, that wearing experience is just preferable. It looks better. It looks cleaner. It looks classic. Taking a look at the Nomos on my six and a half inches, you can see, although it technically fits proportionally, it doesn't overhang the edge of my wrist, it is just a little bit long of a stance. I do think on one piece strap, it kind of helps contain that look, but of course you get a little bit of a lug gap. It is supremely thin though, so it does wear comfortably. It just feels good on wrist. There is no uncomfortability in wearing it or fitting it on a cuff or anything like that. So that's where Nomos does really nail it, uh, but 
they could tweak the design and make it that much better, that much more perfect in my opinion. There's a quick view from the side. You see that very gently boxed sapphire crystal, that beautiful dome to the bezel. It just does have an amazing profile. And even from the side, the lugs don't look insane, but it really is just the top view, which I think lets it down just a little bit. They're a little harsh. They're a little bit geometric where the case itself is really round. So it's not perfectly harmonious in my opinion. Moving on to some other straps, just to see how the watch can be mixed up. I think this white archer silicone does do the watch justice. And to me, it just makes the watch pop. I mean, it's already a very poppy color, but it kind of almost leans into the thing that it almost is going for. Really supremely thin, very nice on wrist. I can't complain really. Uh, and just helps make the watch pop and just look a little bit more fun. Here's the combo which almost makes me a convert. Putting this on a one piece strap gets rid of some of that visual heft that comes with the lug gap. Uh, this color tone green on green match to me is just awesome. The pearl on adds a little bit of a fun texture that wouldn't be there otherwise. It's just good. I don't think I'm crazy in saying that looks better than it does on the more separated two piece straps. It still isn't perfect. It's a little bit of a large stance, but to me, it almost feels more cohesive this way because it's all one piece. Will this be a solution for everybody? No, and maybe you don't want to wear one piece straps and I get that, but this is a nice measure for maybe people who want to have a little bit more of a fun watch that they can, you know, maybe just have a little bit of a color in the collection and they don't mind a one piece strap. Uh, making it right for them. And one last thing I'll mention just because I didn't mention it already and I do love the winding sensation of this watch. It has a very good, almost buttery, very clicky feel to it. The actual setting mechanism is super smooth. So it's one of those things where it does feel like a premium movement. It doesn't feel cheap and it's nice because it's not a cheap watch. Looking at the loom, it's not bad, but it's not great. To be fair, the video is making it look a lot better than it is. It's a little dim. I do think for how thick the application looked, it should be better but it is just one of those things. Kind of comparing it here to the Timex, you can see Timex much brighter. Uh, the Nomos does die relatively quickly, but I think while it lasts, it's very readable, it's very legible, but it's an area they can improve on. As a sum up for this watch, I think it just presents good value in the watch industry. You're getting a in-house movement, you're getting something from a quality brand, you're getting just a quality product. The printing is done well, the dial is done well, the case is done well, the thinness and just the ergonomics and the wearability of it is top notch. So it does just feel like a more premium product, which is nice. Then again, is it perfect? No. Some people might not like the uh, California style layout. Some people might not like the lugs. Uh, there's definitely things about this watch, which is not going to be to everybody's taste and that's okay. There's plenty of alternatives out there. If you're still into this dressier style, you have brands like Ferrer, you have brands like Young Hands. If this is a little bit too much of a reach in price point, you have brands like the Baltic Micro Rotor Movement. You have vintage Omegas you can get for really good deals that still give you this dressy, simplistic, classic, clean aesthetic, but as something from a really good brand with history, as long as you're okay with, you know, going through the vintage minefield a little bit. But what I do like about this Nomos range, what they do very well is they add fun. Uh, I do think the watch industry takes itself too seriously at many points and uh, too often I would say and it's one of those things where I love that they bring color. I love that they have the hint of that orange even though I'm not the biggest fan of orange. I still like it here. Uh, it's one of those things where you find so many black, white, and blue watches everywhere so it's nice to see vibrant greens, vibrant orange, different shades of different colors and it just is cool to see Nomos doing that in their most affordable range so it's not like they're price gouging and waiting for you to spend more money to get those cool colors, you can get them at the entry. I think if you have the opportunity to try one on or if you have a friend that has one or you are going to go to a meetup and you know someone's going to have one there, just try it on, see if you like it. Again, it's not going to be for everybody, but I do think it has its merit and it's a cool watch. So if you end up getting one, let me know. If you like this watch or you like this video, let me know. Thank you as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you in another one.